Hello. Hello. We will now see and analyze the circuit diagram of a multi-activity robotic project. So it's a multi-activity robotic circuit. For the purpose of simulation, uh, we have taken the devices like one transmitter microcontroller, one receiver microcontroller and two motor driver ICs, one here and one here and then motors and a keypad and a, a relay to be used for some activity. Now if we go on to details, we have this motor driver IC, there are two motor driver ICs interfaced. These numbers indicate that they are connected to these places, right? So this is how the motor driver IC is connected and as far as the keypad is concerned, we take a standard, we, ta we have taken a standard keypad and it is interfaced this way to the controller columns and rows then we have taken four motors we taken four motors oh sorry we have taken four motors one for the left movement one for the right movement and one for the arm because it will be operating a hand like a robot arm up and down and arm open and close so one motor for arm open and close one motor for arm up and down and this is for forward direction reverse direction left and right movement so now we go over to the and then we also have certain additional features which is interface to the microcontroller is left obstacle if there is any obstacle comes this gets logic zero and it will see how it works and in the right obstacle also is like this then uh, when we are operating the arm up and down it so happens that when the arm is fully up the motor goes to stop condition so there the arm up and down interrupt comes into picture and similarly arm open close interrupt comes into picture because the motor has to stop at that time otherwise it will burn so these are the features which are taken and uh, the wireless connection between the transmitter and the receiver is through the encoder and decoder IC and the transmitters that is 433 RF modules which we have discussed separately and we for the purpose of understanding what we are given here is this is the enable pin goes to the um, 12E13 goes to 12D13 and similarly 12 e 10 goes to 12 d 10 12 e 11 to d 11 and then ultimately of course the serial data which is transmitted by the rf unit is handled now once we simulate this what we find we have given the operations here one is uh, the operations like these are the operations the operations key operations are uh, one is turn left two is move forward three is turn right like this all are being explained here now we will simulate this once we simulate this now moment i press okay let us zoom it to an extent that we can see it better okay these are our important places right so once we put say one you see the left motor starts rotating right and if I press 2 or if I press 3 the right motor starts rotating because the movement has to be either right or left or if I press 2 both the motor starts rotating though it appears that this is rotating in this direction and this is rotating in di this direction actually it is true because these two motors will be at a 180 degree shaft condition that means if this rotates at clockwise this should rotate at anticlockwise so that the robot moves forward 
right and similarly when the robot has to come backward when i press 5 the robot comes backward this is anti clockwise this is clockwise so the robot moves backward now in the event of weather forward now supposing it is moving forward in the event of forward it comes out with some obstacle on the way now supposing there is an obstacle which temporarily came and gone or the obstacle was there it stops and then goes back goes back and then after some time goes to right because the the uh, there is a obstacle which had come and then again forward similarly now supposing there is a obstacle at the left hand side it stops goes back and then takes another turn and then goes to the right direction so this is how the uh, left obstacle or right obstacle comes into picture now we'll go over to we can stop the motors anytime uh, by pressing start here now for the movement of uh, arm now supposing we want to move the arm now when we press 7 the arm open close motor is activated and this uh, 9 it rotates in the reverse direction similarly for the up, arm up and down when we have this or this rotates in the other direction at any moment I press star it can stop we are given a arm up and down interrupt also interrupt in the sense of this motor is meant for arm and the arm fully open the motor should stop so that's why an interrupt is given that interrupt will be given by some uh, additional uh, circuitry or by some mechanical uh, switch uh, which will be giving the interrupt and the obstacle also will be giving some infrared uh, uh, sensing and then giving the obstacle now let's see the how the interrupt works now when i supposing the arm is uh, arm uh, up and down motor is working and uh, supposing that time the interrupt comes it stops and in no matter you operate it again it is only the other one will work but this one will not work okay until the arm is clear so this is how the up and down arrangement is achieved and similarly the arm open and close now for example now so for example now this is arm up and down up and down similarly the when the interrupt comes it will stop and now the other feature that we have here is we also have a relay provision from one of its board pins where we have a, a supply and then we have a relay and then we have connected it to and this relay can either switch on a pump or a lamp or a load anything that we feel like so and then we are given these led indications as to what are the conditions which are uh, achieved and uh, in actual practice this uh, inverter will not be used it will be directly given to the um, uh, enable pin and the uh, data enable and data ready pin uh, of the ht 12 e and 12d which we have discussed separately and uh, this is how it works in most satisfactory way for many activities which is which can be handled the activities thank you